This is Hope Kaminsky back again. This is one week post show and I am headed out for shoulders, arms, and chest today. I'm gonna go work out. Then we're gonna talk a little bit later about post show feels and all that nonsense and what I'm eating and all that good stuff. I'm kind of tired right now to be honest with you, but I'm ready to work out with some heavy weight. Let's do this. Have you guys got sick of my car yet? <laughs> I find that like my house is so busy that this is like really only the time that I'm not even speaking English. Really the only time that I have without my kids and my husband trying to get in frame because they're all so excited about the whole channel thing. So I'm done my shoulders and arms. There was no chest and abs. I don't know why I said that earlier. Anyway, it was shoulders and arms today. Really good workout. I'm really glad that I'm lifting heavy again. So we're we're about one week post show. How do I feel about everything? Well, I'm really proud that I placed 15 out of 20 ladies. I actually placed this year, so I am top 15, 15th place. My hesitation for being like super excited about it is because I thought I would do so much better. But obviously, I mean, those girls on the stage, I mean, they had hard bodies. It's not like they didn't earn it. And I'm not saying that I earned it more than anyone else. I think I was just disappointed with the fact that last year I trained for six weeks, placed last of the last. This year I trained for eight months, placed 15th next to last. <laughs> but I mean, if I think about it, you know, last year I was fifth call outs. This year I was third call outs. So there is prog progress and I'm completely happy with how I came in. I'm super proud of myself. I lost a ton of weight. I tightened up like crazy and you know, don't get it twisted. My back was freaking bomb on stage. It was amazing. If my legs had come in harder and I had like a lot of separation in like my hands and my quads and my glutes and all that stuff, I think I would have killed it on stage. Hopefully my posing was good. I mean, I don't know. I got a little nervous when I first walked on stage. I kind of stumbled a little bit when I did my transition from my uh, front pose to my back pose. I kind of wobbled a little bit. I think it's just for me when I see myself on the big screen because like when you turn around on stage 
then you see yourself on the big screen behind you so it kind of throws you off a little bit and I think I've got to stop looking at myself when I turn around and then I won't be you know weird about it but I feel like I was pretty confident with my posing you know I made sure I had a lot of flair next time I'm gonna make sure I don't move around so much because I feel like in all the video I got of myself posing I was fidgeting a lot because you know I was nervous and dehydrated and all that jazz so I think if I stop fidgeting so much uh, it might show better but I definitely love the way it looked I love my hair I love how I did my makeup um, in quite a few pictures so I've got to relax my face too that's one thing I didn't really work on and that's a good reminder to everybody out there work on your faces too when you're posing because I looked really like this in a lot of my in a lot of my pictures from David Ford they were great pictures but it's hard when you look like a deer in the headlights the whole time so I think I got to relax and just do like a half smile or something or you know that kind of stuff and still bring the sass I was very sassy on stage so that was you know hands up to my coach Emmy Bikini because she freaking Emily Adams because she like she was such a good coach like honestly if any of you are thinking about competing in bikini especially for your first time second time third time whatever she is amazing wealth of resource of knowledge with her posing is incredible i mean she's known for her posing she's wonderful um so definitely hit her up if you get the chance so right now i'm on a reverse diet we're trying to bring up my calories slowly week by week over the next four weeks to try to get back at a maintenance level so i don't gain too much weight back because you know my thing is i always like last year i fell off the wagon so hard and i was so down on myself that i just ate everything in sight gained back everything and more like within a month and a half so it was really hard on my body so this time I wanted to make sure, sorry, my arm's getting tired, it's shoulder day. <laughs> this time I wanted to make sure that I didn't go too far away from where I was at stage. Obviously you're gonna gain five to 10 pounds and you're not gonna look as hard and that's totally cool, I'm okay with that. But I wanna constantly improve my package. Obviously now, I'm not sure if I told you guys, I have a different goal right now. Right now I am preparing for the firefighter test. I am pursuing firefighting and they are hiring this fall. They're doing a whole round of hiring at my local hall. So I'm gonna be training with one of the fellow firemen. Well, I'm not a fireman yet. So one of the firemen at the hall, uh, he's kind of taken me under his wing and we're gonna do a lot of training over the next little while. So I'll definitely be vlogging about that. Being a woman trying to become a firefighter. So I'm, I'm really excited, you know, I'm a stay at home mom and I've always wanted to go into service. So for me, going to be part-time firefighter you know not volunteer but actually pay per call firefighter um, it's pretty freaking exciting it's not something that I ever thought that I would do and it's one of those things where you know I started working out and then this door opened for me I mean if I had never started this journey I wouldn't be on this path and that's the crazy thing about fitness is it can open when you when you pursue something you're passionate about it can open up so many doors for you that you would have never even thought of so that's that's really exciting so the test is this fall probably like September October sometimes so I've got to get motoring and training for that I'm in a pretty good space right now to take the test but a lot of it is just getting used to the full frontal mask and all the gear on and all that kind of stuff so after my reverse diet is finished, I'll switch gear and focus on that. I feel satiated. I feel like I'm getting a lot of food in my system and I'm not really tempted by too much bad food. I think the hardest aspect about reversing is getting back that, that social, how would you even say it? The socialness of eating. Is, is a struggle and maintaining a, uh, a very social relationship with friends and family and things because everything is usually center, centered around food. So you really have to try to change your way of thinking and realizing that it's just food, it's just fuel. Yeah, it's nice to have a cheat once in a while, by the way. I get a cheat again once a week on my leg day, which I'm so excited about. I digress. So you really have to change your thinking and you can still have fun socially. Just be prepared, you know, bring meal with you, bring, you know, a quest bar with you, whatever, whatever fits into your plan and you can still do it. You can still make it work. I definitely offer up more active suggestions now. And instead of like going out to dinner, you know, maybe we can go rock climbing or axe throwing or, you know, something really fun. So you got to kind of work fitness and and really actually change your lifestyle to make it work but it is doable it is perfectly doable 
what else? So I gained a couple pounds back already. Gained about three pounds back. I'm going to be updating my coach every week uh, with progress photos and weight updates and how I'm feeling and things. And so we'll go from here. Uh, thanks for checking in with me. Thank you for following on my prep. I had an amazing amazing time stage day the ABBA they're so positive and so supportive and the volunteers I mean thank you they were just amazing my fellow competitors I got a chance to meet some people who follow me some people I follow vice versa um, all the girls were really great this year and, and last year too I feel like there is really a big sense of community in this industry which I really love you know obviously you're gonna get you know some snooty people and that's totally fine you're gonna get them anywhere but I really appreciate the camaraderie especially within the the female competitors at this level anyway so yeah so I had a great time thank you for following me this has been Hope Kaminsky your bikini competitor vlogger for Northern's 2016 I can't believe it's over we made it you did it I did it everybody did it it was great Thank you for my returning subscribers, my new subscribers. If you don't subscribe, you should now. I will try to be more regular with my videos. I'm really sorry. It's been crazy. It's been so busy. I will catch up, I promise you, and we'll become more regular. So like this video if you enjoy my content. Look around my channel and all my other videos, my prep vlog to, that documented my journey to this point. And I'll see you later. Bye. Booyah. Thank you.